All indications are that Emerson Umnangagwa will resign as state president in the next couple of months. Umnangagwa is also expected to resign as ZANU PF leader and will withdraw from this term in which was supposed to serve for five years till the next elections. This comes after disputed elections in which he lost to Citizen Coalition for Change leader Nelson Chamisa and SADC dethroned him and he is now an illegitimate president. President Emerson Dambudzo Umnangagwa has lost the political support of the ZANU-PF and is very likely to announce his resignation as head of state in the next few months. The SADC body has tabled a motion, arguing for ZANU-PF to remain in power as the elections and were not free and fair. ZBC News has spoken to a range of senior politicians and civil servants close to Umnangagwa's decision of inaugurated himself, that is likely to trigger a credibility crisis for Zimbabwe and economic crisis. A source close to talk said Umnangagwa did not have to be convinced of the case to resign. The insider said Umnangagwa argued that it was in the best interest of the stability of the country for him to quit. There is nothing we can do now, the source said. The insider said the president would address the nation soon. He said the president was still considering his options. The primary concern in the president's mind is the stability of the government and the country. As pressure mounts, Umnangagwa tells allies he is not opposed to resigning. Umnangagwa has run out of options after a Section 89 panel, headed by former Deputy President of Zambia Nevers Mumba, found that he have violated the constitution and he must resign ZBC understands the president's legal advisors told him that, although they took the view that the sum of the reports was full of contradictions, flaws and mistakes, chances of successfully challenging it in court was not guaranteed. Umnangagwa also does not want to put himself through a public trial in parliament. In an impeachment hearing, while he was the one who suspended. Umnangagwa is a multi-billionaire who built his fortune inside politics before he grabbed power from former President Robert Mugabe in 2017 through coup. He has served as deputy president and president of the country for a short time and he made more mistakes than success, and he led the country of Zimbabwe into a dark shadow of Africa. Umnangagwa was accused of covering up the source of the money, allegedly stashed in furniture, and of thwarting a proper police investigation into the case. ZANU PF leaders to meet on president's future as enemies, opposition demand resignation. Umnangagwa had limited options, which he discussed with political and legal advisors since late on Wednesday night. ZBC understands his decision was mainly influenced by the lack of political support he suffered in the ZANU PF since the release of the report. This follows a marked sea change in recent times with frustration among supporters around the president's lack of urgency to take the fight to his political enemies increasing. Some Mugabe-aligned activists in ZANU-PF and in government have been growing more vocal in their disappointment, arguing that the hard work that went into ensuring his victory at the 2017 ZANU-PF leadership contest and the subsequent removal of Mugabe is being rapidly undone. Stunning blow to Umnangagwa leaves government, ZANU-PF floundering, and Zimbabwe in a crisis. The feeling for quite a while has been that Umnangagwa is not doing enough to counter his opponents, leaving his supporters exposed and in the lurch. The most likely scenario was for Chiwenga to step into Umnangagwa's shoes until ZANU elects a new leader at ZANU-PF headquarters in Harare. A source said Umnangagwa conceded that he had bled support in the ZANU-PF and was likely to be mauled when it meets next month in October. If you count numbers, there is only about a dozen or so people who will fight for the president, the party insider said.